welcome back to Crochet and I have it. So this is the start of my regular rate of deals since having the two week break over the Christmas period and start of the year. I have had my birthday which was on the 5th and so I'm now 23. But I have a plenty of things to show. I have a few gifts. I have some projects I've been working on. I think I do have at least one or two things finished and I think I will start with this. This is my new journal Um, it has phoenixes on it. I will get a picture to show it better because I don't know how well it's showing up. And I have started the year so I've made my year a glance calendar and stuff. And I've done the front page for January. So it has a birthday cake, obviously, because you know, January is where my birthday is. And this is bright orange. I apologize if it's showing up weird over there. I have wrote down some goals. I also have them um, projects. So, as usual, I have my project things here, and then I have some goals here. So goals, I'm hoping to fully publish the game board I was working on. I had a bit of an issue with the site I was trying to use. I was trying to make the um, graph thing for people to follow. And yeah, the site just doesn't seem to work properly. Not sure why. But basically, if somebody else opens it, then I can't get into it. And it's a bit of a mess. But I am going to try and get that sorted and then get it ready and available. I also need to um, finish up making the idea for the counters to go with it. I also have um, the goal of making it some organising videos. Because I have yarn to organise. I have pattern books to organise. I, I just have a lot of stuff I need to organise so I thought I would do some crochet organising videos going through all the different things and uh, besides that um, with my goals that I've written down so far I'm hoping to do some more baking but I do like baking I don't do it very often um, partially because um, I just got a new cake pan which I tried on my birthday and I made a bunt cake now, if you don't know what a bunt cake is, it's basically a round cake, but it has a hole in the middle. Um, yeah. I think it turned out well, although it was not perfect. I will try it again. My other goal is to read at least two books. Now, I'm almost finished with books that I was already reading. So, I'm hoping to finish that and then get on to the book after it. And um, during the Christmas period, while well, getting gifts for people and um, there's this shop that it's kind of like a charity-ish sort of shop anyway sometimes it has a rack outside where they have a couple of things that are just getting rid of free because xyz we were trying to get rid of it and in that pile was a book called ink heart and i actually really like the story i've watched the film and i thought i'd try and read the book so that a goal. Um, but as I was saying, I did say I had some gifts, so I will show those. Um, I have this one. This one's a little random. It's a raspberry and orange blossom body spray. So it does smell quite nice. Not that I generally wear that kind of thing, but yeah. Um. There's this. So this is a cute little game of scavenger hunt. It basically has um, cards and like, a spinner and it does come with a timer. Unfortunately the one in my box was um, broken but I have timers around so meh, whatever. I also got this which I thought was really neat. So it's um, a basic wall calendar. And then um, you, you can flip through the pages like you normally would. You've got January, February, but you also have this here, which is for notes. 
So if I need to make a video or um, whatever, I could just write up here something like a -O, like this with a wipeable pen, which it actually came up. And so there you can see I just quickly scribbled video today and now uh, I could have it on the wall and just write down random notes that I need for the week or the month or whatever and the tissue that I now got is really good for wiping off like it comes off super clean like you could barely tell there was anything on there so I think it works really nicely and yeah it's a nice little calendar so I'm going to be hanging this up now that I've done my video because actually the only reason I haven't hung up yet is because I was keeping it back to do a video so I didn't forget about it um, there is a, another thing here with me this is a really cool collection and it's in um, the different months as a kind of calendar top piece I guess you would say you can hang your little actual calendar underneath I was thinking though as cute as that is I might possibly I don't know if I definitely will but yeah, I think it would be kind of neat to do each one of these separately and then use them in a journal so instead of like how I drew it in my journal to make my cover page I could do little cross stitch squares and then um, maybe tape them in or something so that I could remove them if I wanted to um yeah just an idea but that's a cross stitch kit and I will probably do it at some point next we have a tie dye kit I do apologize about the hair. This is very um, shiny and it flares a lot. But anyway, this is a sunset version of one I did show in my What I Got for Christmas video, which if you haven't seen that, I recommend checking it out. There was plenty of things in that. It it comes with all the tools. It's got um, the last bands, balls, dye. Oh, and gloves. It's got all the things. Alright. This this is kind of random, but um basically here we do selection boxes a lot at um Christmas. So you get um big tubs that have got chocolates in them, you get um all sorts of selection boxes really. And this happens to be a um chocolate biscuit selection box or um, cookies as Americans would call them and then um, this is a picture of them here um, and on the back they tell you what they all are and so they're just in a tray in this box and then um, yeah, they thought I'd like it because I I do like chocolate biscuits sometimes and um, got some stuff for my hair talking about my hair it has been curled I've been doing stuff with it and I got some new things so this is the new thing for my hair which looks really odd on camera this is a hair mat and these here are little clips so basically you position it on your head so like like that at the back and then you clip it on and wrap your hair around and it does different hairdos and I happen to really like um, 40s, 50s styles so it's good for that kind of thing I also got some new earrings which were both gotten for their kind of vintage look these ones have a lot of like just a wee bit and barrels and things and it really really doesn't want to show very nicely camera is being weird anyway um this is one set 
and then this is the second set. So these ones, um, they just have a little pattern on them, and I didn't get them for the pattern. I just got them for the fact that they don't look solid. So from a distance, they just they have a little bit of a different colour going on, rather than just like solid colours. So I like them for that. And I just dropped something. Um, this is a big gift that I got. Now, I didn't ask for this, but I had said I wanted one for like years. It basically, it's a roll for your puzzle. And you can literally roll up your puzzle while you're working on it. So that you can put it away and bring it back out. Which is nice. Sometimes because well, I don't know. Maybe you've been doing a puzzle for a while and want it to stay whole, but you're having to put it by for some reason. So here is the tube, which I was struggling to put together. But um, this is the tube. It's hollow. And you you unfold this, which I'm not going to do right now, but you unfold it and you put your jigsaw on it and then you wrap it around the tube and then you have these elastics to put around to keep your puzzle on it. And I think it's pretty awesome. So I can now do that rather than um, what I usually do which is kind of balancing it on a board on top of a box which works but it's not always perfect. Now um, I did say something dropped and I'm not going to go and fetch it but it's a um, kind of a tea strainer. You place it in the cup with whatever leaves you're using and it stops the leaves getting in your tea. That's, that's what it's for. I might get it up and take a picture of it with other things. But basically that's what it is. And the last thing that I got is a gift. And I haven't really shown is the dress I'm wearing. So it's, it's a lovely 1950s sort of dress. Which I will again get a picture of. Later, but my um, mum made it for me, and I'm knocking down more things. Uh, then, but yeah, my mum made it for me, and it's really nice. It fits perfectly, and it has a beautiful pattern on it. And it is short sleeved, but you, know, you would notice that with the cardigan. It is chilly. If anyone had noticed, it is January. So, um, I will move on and show something else. Okay, so first of all, I do have a finished object here, and this is a lovely little belt. It has a little tassel that you tie with, this really adorable flower pattern all the way across. And it only takes me a day to make it, really. So that's a um, fast project. And um, yeah, you could alter it to any size, so that's nice. I actually can't link to this particular pattern because I can't personally access the website. But um, all these Americans will be able to. It is Hobby Lobby and um, if I can remember I will write down below what the pattern itself is called. I think it's maybe Change of Lace or Chance of Lace or something like that. Anyway. Um, it's so well. It's not. It's not sold. It's um. It was a free pattern, but you can get it, and it's in with a couple of other patterns. And what I, how I got it was my friend actually downloaded it for me and sent it across so I could get a chance to try it out because I really, really loved it. And um, yes, I really do love it. It's a lovely pattern. And I may even make another one for myself at some point. But this one is really nice because it's white. 
and I can put it with anything. So that's my first thing, not finished object. And everything else is kind of just a work in progress. Partly because the thing I was going to try and finish, I ran out of yarn to finish it. Have a catch me. Right, um, so this here is the thing I was going to finish. And I'm sure I've shown it here plenty of times, but if you don't know what it is, it's Jada and Stitchy's Mile a Minute Blanket. Here we go. And this is the strip I was working on. So, um, what was the Okay. September. My um, brain melted. <laughs> anyway, this is um, September's strip, I believe. And um, yeah, it's a really nice stitch, but I ran out of yarn, as you can see here. So I do have to go and get a new ball of that. So in the meantime, I decided to work on the next strips because technically you can work on the center of the strip without attaching it. So this here is October's strip. It's really pretty. It's um got a closed diamond and then an open diamond. Yeah that one. So it's, these are the closed diamond that's the open one and I thought it was really pretty. So this one is October's, and I'm thinking I might make a um, bookmark with that pattern, just because it's so pretty. And then this one is November's, and I think this was called High Rise. It, um, it's because it looks kind of like plants. It is a really nice pattern, and I have also finished that strip besides, obviously attaching it because of the blue, can't do that, but I'm enjoying making it. The next thing I actually started recently, so this is from issue 60 of Crochet Now, it's kind of an old issue, I don't know if it's still available, but it has this really cute little elephant in it, and I really wanted to make the elephant. So, I started it, and I have it in here. Now, I don't have a lot done so far, but I, I have got a few pieces. So, this here is the little trunk, which does have a thing, so it could be bent like in the photo, or straightened out, because they have it kind of off to the side, kind of like that. It, that's the trunk, and obviously I haven't filled it yet, so it's kind of flat right now. And then the next part I've done is I've made one of the ears. And I actually started the other the other ear last night, so it's here. I just didn't get very far with it. But I, I'll, I'll work on it. I, I'm enjoying making it. It's a fun pattern. Here's another look at the pattern. So there's the elephant, which is catching a lot of glare. So as you can see, it does have a curved trunk there. And it has one leg. Um, I did notice while I was having a skim through the pattern, um, the hat is actually part of the elephant's head. And um, I'm thinking I might just change it a little because I want to be able to take the hat on and off. So I'm just going to like make a separate hat. But I do think it's cute the way it is. I just I just want to hang it around the table. Because who knows, maybe I want to make another hat for her in a different colour. And I have my good old trusty purple bag from last Christmas and um, I have a project I actually have more than one project in here. This first 
project from this bag. I have shown before. And I'm almost finished. There it is. It's the lovely block shawl, also often referred to as the Hollow Midlife Blanket. Um, anyway, it's a really pretty pattern and I have one more roll to get that open space along it. And then I have the border, which I was talking to my mum about some ideas. And so I will be doing the border soon, but I'm thinking I'll get a new ball of yarn in a colour that I would like to use for it. Because I'm just that picky. <laughs> uh, even though I have like got yarn behind me, I've got yarn up there, I do want a different colour for the edge. Because what I was thinking was a nice um, brown colour. So, um, yeah. Be more feel on that, it is nearly finished. And then the next project I only just started. And this is it here. So there isn't much to this pattern. I'm not really even following a pattern. I got an idea from a picture I saw. And basically the picture, it's a, it's a book cover and it, it kind of looks like a bag, like a rectangular bag and it's got handles around it. And so I'm kind of using the idea but I'm using different stitches. So this is a lemon peel stitch and I just made enough um, stitches that it would cover my journal. Not that I don't like the cover of this journal, but like I'm going to use it for carrying it around and maybe if I continue using the book cover, if I have a new journal at some point that I don't want to see the cover, then it has a pretty cover that I've already made. Um, yeah. So I, I got an idea from the picture. But I'm not actually following a pattern on that one. And I, I'm not sure exactly what the stitch count is that. So, hmm. anyway. I've been just kind of doing a bunch of random stuff. Oh, and I do have one other thing I finished. But I can't actually show it because I uh, already gave it to the person for Christmas. But I can add a picture because I did take a picture before I sent it away um, in with other pictures of stuff. So you will get to see it. I just don't have it here to show you. And I think that's about everything I've been working on. The last thing I am going to mention is I have done a little yarn order for my birthday. And I'm going to do like a a haul video probably on Saturday about that so watch out for it it will be coming just hopefully on Saturday um, yeah I'm excited to show what I got and see what I got obviously so remember and like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications every time I put up a video Oh, and leave a comment if you feel like doing that. 